All right, good morning. So did the Derek Barnett's status? What's his status? Um, we're going to see how he goes today and um, and make a determination, you know, as, as today goes. Um, but he's day to day. Did that injury happen in the game? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah, when else would it happen? Or he could have, he could have, but I don't know if it's short. Hey, you know, it's, it's all right. Ankle, knee, something, yeah, all right. So did the week bring about any personnel changes for you? Uh, it has not. Um, you know, we're obviously evaluating everybody uh, right now. And, and uh, you know, we're, the thing is, um, quite honestly, with uh, the amount of injuries and trying to get guys to Sunday, too, just mixing some guys up and, and just rest. And, you know, Kelsey's getting a little extra rest during the week. and. Want to make sure he's 100 percent and guys like that. So, um, you know, we continue to evaluate and and uh, we'll make make changes if we need to. What's going on with Kelsey? What's going on? With him? Yeah, just just rest. He's he's just a you know he's a he's a veteran player who uh, does a lot for us and just want to make sure that he's 100 percent and uh, you know he he practices full every day, but just give him a play here and there. You talked a little bit about wanting to see a sense of urgency. Do you think you've gotten that this week? From the players, I do, I do, and, and listen, our our guys understand uh, the type of team we have, where they are, um, you know, after a month of the season, um, and and it's more than just saying that there's a sense of urgency. I think we got to produce it and we got to show it. Obviously, um, the way we start football games, um, I think offensively, uh, our guys understand that we haven't been the best. One of our strengths has been over, you know, especially last year, possibly the year before, was scoring, you know, on opening drives or at least in that first quarter, and that's something we got to get back to. Getting back to the uh, personnel change thing, there was a report that you're considering making a move at left guard and and possibly starting Isaac. No truth. Uh, you, it's a possibility. Well, again, listen, I, I'm not going to stand up here, and I'm just going to say this: that uh, we're constantly evaluating everybody, and. Uh, you know, um, this week we, we've rotated some guys around different play. I mean, Isaac's played left guard. He's played some center, just giving guys opportunities to see. And, and so, you know, we haven't made any changes as of yet. No, there's been, you mentioned the start of games. Um, you look back, there's been a lot of big plays on the first or second play of the half or, or the game, obviously, the Deshaun well, play uh, against your, against your us, defense. Yeah. Um, is there something to that? Maybe just not being totally 100% ready, focused, uh, engaged in the game. Have you have you noticed anything like that? You know what? I, I have not noticed anything like that. Quite honestly, I, I try to get a pulse of where we are, even in pregame warmups, where the guys are, and they've been loose and they've been they've been energetic, they've been focused, um, and, and and just teams of you know we have to understand that you know especially first play of the game or at least first play of the second half that might be an opportunity for a team to take a shot. You know, it's usually, it's like I did last week, you know, uh, we're taking a shot down the field to Nelson. So, um, you know, that's just all part of that sense of urgency, coming coming ready, uh, especially that opening play. In Joe Mills' case, there's been a lot of support for him this week. Uh, the, the loyalty that you and the coaching staff and the teammates have for him, is that because he's the best player for the job right now or because of all he's done for you during the past two years? Yeah, I think it's a little both. Number one, he is the best player, you know, for the position. And number two, his body of work, what he's done, you know, over the course of, uh, you know, two, two plus years. And and so we got a ton of confidence in him. And, and that's, listen, that's something that, uh, you know, if a, if a quarterback, you know, goes through a, a slump, I mean, we're just, we're going to wrap our arm around him. We're going to encourage him. We're going to keep him keep him coming and keep coaching him. You know, there's, yeah, I don't believe in just kicking guys to the curb and, and okay, you're done, let's go with the next guy. You know, so we continue to work with everybody and, and, and work with the entire roster that way and, and uh, you know, he's obviously no different. Carson has said repeatedly, Doug, that he's not gonna change the way he plays, but he knows he has to do a better job of protecting himself. Um, but he's got a lot of luck and Roethlisberger in him because of the body size and the strength and he's willing to stand in there and take hits. Uh, are there any long-term concerns about that? I mean, when you know, uh, about being willing to, to absorb what he absorbs? Well, I mean, he's compared himself to Ben. I mean, Ben's played quite a while, and, and he's done, done pretty well for himself. I think, I think for the overall um, longevity of the player, for the quarterback and the position, and where we try to go each season as a football team, obviously the health of the quarterback is a big deal. Um, I guess historically you can look around the league and, and see teams that have lost their quarterbacks and, 
and uh, you know how well, how either well they've played after that or not, and and so he understands that, uh, you know, the bigger picture uh, is is the longevity of, of himself. So that obviously benefits the entire team. So this is a Monte Maddox second week of practicing the safety position. Have you noticed any improvements over this week in him in terms of how he's looked at practice? He's gotten uh, a lot more comfortable, more confident uh, back there, you know, and and he's it's it's great to have guys like Corey and Malcolm who can who can uh, instruct and teach and just talk to him from the standpoint of game game reps in practice. It's one thing again to see it on tape, but to be able to do it in practice is another. And he's shown a lot of a lot of confidence this week. So do you expect to have Corey or and or Darren this this Sunday? And, and if not, I mean, do you see this as another you know big opportunity for Wendell, obviously, to get some get a lot of work? Yeah, both Darren and, and Corey are, are going to you know. Give us a little something today. See what we can do, and then, and then uh, make a determination. You know, after that. But um, if if they can't, then yeah, Wendell and Jay and and, and Josh again. You know, um, have a great opportunity. And uh, um, you know, again, it goes back to the health of the player and making sure everybody's at least a hundred percent or at least close to it. You know, before we put them out there. How much have you missed um, Corey and Darren, especially on third downs? Those are the two guys who will generally get those reps. He probably missed him a little bit too on special teams, quite honestly. Um, you know, but uh, DeAndre's done a nice job. He did a nice job last week, punt returns and, and all that. But um, yeah, I mean, listen, we know overall as a team, offensively, our third down production has to pick up. That's something we know as a team is not just one guy. So you know, we address that as a, as a staff, you know, schematically, just make sure we got the right plays uh, in the game plan. But uh, those players obviously can can help. Uh, in, in increasing those numbers. So Sam Mala was benched last uh, September. He, spe he has spent most of his time either as your, your 6 0 lineman or as a center in training camp. Why, do you, why would you feel comfortable if the possibility of moving back to, to guard? Well, I mean, if that's the case, I mean, you see what Isaac's done. I mean, he's now in his third year, too, and, and his confidence level is. is is extremely high right now. Um, he, he's he's healthy. He's playing, you know, physical. He had a really good training camp. He's had a good off season. So, you know, there's a lot of positives going for Isaac right now. We're all comfortable as a staff. Stout's very comfortable with him. You know, in in his value obviously has been really all five positions. You know, he played tackle his first year uh, down in Baltimore. So, um, versatile athlete who we. Uh, um, like his progress, like his progression, where he's at, and, and see what happens. So the running back, side of protection issues. Yes. Yeah. With the running backs, uh, Smallwood didn't have much of a role, uh, it looked like, in coming out of training camp in preseason. And has he showed you more than you expected to see or more than he showed you last year with his running style? and his? Uh... You know what, he, he actually came out of training camp. Uh, I was real comfortable with Wendell uh, and, and really what he showed during practices, even in some of the games he played. I thought his uh, his running style was was he was a little more aggressive. He was he's a physical guy, um, and in, in quite honestly, probably had something to prove. Um, maybe felt like uh, there was a little heat on him, you know. And and I think it's a great motivator for any athlete and any player. And and he responded. And so, uh, wow, you know, we've been encouraged with him. He's done a nice job for us, and uh, we'll keep him keep him coming. So the past issues. How, how much do you think just the change from Nick to Carson? They're so different. Uh, that they're so different in the pocket. Um, and I know these guys have played with Carson before, but is that a big part of it? Just getting that timing and just getting used it to is, it. It is. You know, we understand Carson might might hold the ball a tick longer, so the protection has to hold up a, a tick longer. Um, cadence is different. Guys getting off the ball, you know. Um, but our protection schemes are the same, so we just got to continue to work and, and get better there too. If Carnett can't play, is Josh Sweat at the point where he can take defensive snaps, or would you stick to the three guys you have in the rotation? Yeah, Josh. Uh, Josh has uh, has done a nice job. You know, um, he's another guy that mixes in even during the week when he's you know deactive on on game day. He still mixes in with the with the rotational guys. You know, during the practice week and be able to give guys like Michael and, you know, Chris, as you know, and different guys, BG, some rest during practice. So, uh, yeah, he's, he's done a nice job, you know, and, and if, if that's the case, I, I feel comfortable with him being in the rotation. With some of the new coaches or guys who have taken on bigger roles, uh, how do you kind of empower them and let them know, I want you guys to question me and, you know, don't hesitate to kind of challenge me? How, how do you kind of empower them when they you move up the ladder? Coaches? Yeah, like, you know, Bro and uh, Brewer and uh, even 
that's Taylor. Well, that's the thing is, is I think that, um, you know, I, I, I put a lot and, and expect a lot, you know, uh, of, of my assistant coaches, but at the same time, I'm here to help. I'm not, I'm not looking down on anybody. I'm in there with them and we're, we're studying the film together and, and, and we're, uh, you know, we're doing, we're doing a lot of the game planning together. So, um, I encourage them to, to ask me questions, obviously being familiar with the offense and understand, you know, what's going on. I go to Stout all the time on the run game because I don't have all the answers there either and, and want to pick his brain on technique and all that kind of stuff. So I'm constantly learning too. So uh, it's a collaborative effort. Um, real comfortable with those guys where they're at in the progression. And, uh, you know, uh, I feel like I feel like both those guys have really benefited from, from us, you know, dialoguing, uh, you know, not only this season, but when we got together back in the spring. Okay. All right. We're inside today.